YouTube, King Grimpachi here. <laughs> Added again another video, and I it had to be done. And it, it's not you know it's not Trey alone. I've seen a lot of people say this, and I'm just gonna tell you what you're saying makes no type of sense. Dr. Trey, you are the doctor. I like your videos. They're funny. Sometimes you say things that I agree with. Sometimes you don't. But don't know you like that, so I don't dislike you. Don't really like you. You know, I just like your content. I don't know you. But the point is this. Why is everybody saying if you boycott Splatoon, it won't send the message to Nintendo that you're boycotting it because it has the lack of voice chat. It's because they're going to take it as, oh, this is a new IP. This is everybody's excuse. They're saying the same crap. It's a new IP. So if you boycott a new IP, um, that tells you, tells Nintendo, rather, that the reason why they're boycotting it or not buying it is because uh, no one wants it. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. So you telling me bad during segregation when black people were boycotting restaurants, white-owned restaurants, and established that um, practice segregation, you telling me the white-owned restaurant or whatever, when they were boycotting them or uh, doing sit-ins and stuff, that maybe the white restaurant thought for a split second, hey, they're doing this because, we, you know, um, they don't like our food. No. No, they didn't. They knew why they were doing it because they were vo voicing why they did what they did. It's, you can boycott anybody over anything if you want to for a reason. So you're telling me that if EA comes out with a new game, new IP, but has fucking online passes and microtransactions out the ads, you, and people boycott it. It's a new IP, remember this. You don't think EA's... It's the modern day age. People are going to be bitching and complaining all over Twitter and Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. You don't think that EA can look real quick online and tell, hey, this is why people didn't support this game. It's because they didn't like this dumb shit we were doing. Come on, what is with this? That don't even make logical sense. So you're telling me that Nintendo can't look online, Nintendo can't figure out, hey, because you know what? That's what most companies do. This game didn't sell well. Well, why? Not They don't just, oh, we don't know why it sold well. Just move on. No, they try to figure out so they don't make the same mistakes. If they go look and see people were boycotting it because we didn't put voice chat in, then they'll change their, their ways. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand your, th that stupid statement. Why didn't the PS3s fly off the shelves in the beginning? Because everybody thought how stupid it was. They knew how dumb it was that it was fucking $600. Now, yeah, the, six, the PS3, you know, maybe they had to charge it for $600 or that much. But no one was willing to pay that much. So they understood that. They have people. And I don't know the group, you know, or the, or the part of the business that does it. There are people who go on and, and get customer feedback, basically. You're telling me that... Microsoft just changed all those things with the Xbox One, not knowing why certain people were boycotting Microsoft. They don't, no one, no one knows. Microsoft just said, you know what, we're going to randomly just change this stuff. No, it's because they knew why people did not like what they were doing and why people wanted to boycott what they were doing. It doesn't matter if it's a new IP, a new device, a new fucking anything. Period. Someone, some people boycott restaurants because they don't like the fact that that restaurant um, supports or deals with people who inhumanely slaughter animals. There are people who boycott for multiple reasons. And guess what? All it takes, especially if it's an organization or a group of people, all it takes to go is look on their web page or go ask them, well, why do you do what you do? It's not hard to figure out. And most people boycotting will tell you why they're boycotting. So that whole bullshit that's a new IP. And honestly, I think Nintendo fan, like I said, this is not, you know... This is talking about Trey, but it's not direct. It's direct to anybody that thinks this shit. That is so fucking stupid. And even if you felt that way, then why didn't y'all boycott Mario Kart? Why didn't, look, this ain't new. This has been going on for the longest. You know why you didn't boycott Mario Kart? Because you wanted to play it. You know why you didn't boycott um, Smash Brothers? Because you wanted to play it. You know why you're not going to boycott Splatoon? Just be honest. You want to play it, and it doesn't matter what Nintendo does. Nintendo can literally hand you, give you Splatoon in a box put a dirty condom in it that they use to just fuck you and shit in the box and you'll probably take it and still love it and you may say damn Grim you kinda kinda sound a little agitated you know why because sometimes you know I'm a real cool comment to do but sometimes like when I hear dumb shit it's it's really dumb 
It's really fucking dumb. You know, you don't think Call of Duty, Activision understands why Call of Duty sales are going down. People are getting tired of the fucking game. And they want them to make a change. It's not hard to figure it out. People got mad to the point they were sending death threats to Vanderhaar on Black Ops 2 because he changed a 1.5 delay of a quit scope. Now, I'm not supporting that. I'm not saying that's right. But I'm saying they know why he got death threats. It's not hard to figure out. Boycotts between. Don't listen to Trey. If you really want voice chat in this fucking game and you want it for the rest of the games, like I said in my video, I understand you're a fan. I'm a fan too. I get that. I understand it. If you really don't give a fuck about voice chat, well, then play the game. I'm not, we, you know, we're not talking about you. But if you honestly want a change and you don't know how to do it, you have to not buy it. Period. That's it. None of this bullshit about no new IP. No. Nintendo isn't dumb. Nintendo understands and knows why we or somebody was not supporting their shit. You think Nintendo sitting here sitting here oblivious like, I wonder why Wii U isn't selling. You know what? I give you know what, Trey? Never mind. You might be right. Nintendo's stupid. So yeah, they may not know. You're correct. But I'm telling you this. If you want some tune to change, if you want something to change, stop buying their shit. For real. I'm a Nintendo fan, and I like Nintendo's games, but come on, yo. Like, you got to draw the line somewhere. You can't keep supporting the shit. If it's really bothering you, if you really want to change, you have to stop supporting it. You have to do it. That is a dumb-ass statement. It's a new IP. So, if we boycott it for this reason right here, it's a new IP, but if we boycott it, and you know what? I take that back again. You, Nintendo un knows what Operation Platinum is. You don't think Nintendo don't know what that is? Nintendo knows of these movements, these things. Nintendo knows that you know after they get so much buzz, Nintendo's gonna be going to realize that after Game of Life started the other Prime, I mean other um yeah other Prime movement. This is not something new. They understand what we do and what we don't do. They look at feedback. They see what the customers are saying. They don't care. Is it the one, two things? They don't care the way you can't do it, but we know it can because other games have done it. So please, stop with the bullshit. The damage control is on a oh, million percent right now. It's ridiculous. Come on, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's one thing, you know, to say, you know, hey, look, you know, I don't give a fuck about voice chat. Not, I'm going to play the game. That's, that's fine. But to make up these weird ass, like, now I'm understanding this whole damage control stupidity thing that other people are talking about. That doesn't even make sense. And like I said, I'm not just directing this for Trey. I'm directing this for anybody saying this thing. Like my boy Twilight said today, he doesn't understand why anybody doesn't like Xenoblade. That's his opinion. I can kind of understand his opinion. I mean, unless you just don't like RPGs, I guess. I mean, you know. But I, I understand that passion from what he's saying. What I'm saying is this. I don't understand how y'all can say that dumb shit. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Show me some statistics proving that a company with a new IP, if someone boycotted a new IP, they don't understand why people boycotted it. It's a boycott. It's not just people didn't buy it. See, that's different. See, if no one bought it, then the company can say, well, maybe we didn't advertise well. Or maybe we didn't, uh, maybe people, a lot of people didn't know the game was coming out. But when it's a legitimate boycott, <laughs> like, <laughs> when people are boycotting, they kind of let it be known they're boycotting it. You, you get my drift? It's not, it's not hard to figure out. Anyway, peace out, Key Gaming. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is stupid. 2015, Nintendo, uh, this is dumb. This is really dumb. Going back to playing Okami. 